let's work on creating a custom layout in QGIS that we can use uh, with SOAR. So what I've got here is a, another untitled blank document. I put an OpenStreetMap in as the base layer through my XYZ tiles. And then with the SOAR browser, add a, found a, a nice image of, the, of a, a drone project. Right, we've got this cool drone imagery stitched together and um, cool ortho mosaic ready to go. And let's say we want to turn this into a, um, a layout. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, to new print layout. And um, let's call it, we're going to say let's going to do 50. I like to name them by um, sort of to something descriptive that I'll know what the size is. Name it whatever you want it. You, you know, you could call it Avon, Avon River, something like that. Whatever, whatever makes sense to you. But I like to put in the, you know, this way I know it's, I'll know that centimeters, 50 by 70 landscape. Actually, let's make that, I'm going to make this 70 by 50. You do the x-axis first, right? So what it's going to do is build me this layout with the, the defaults. Now, this is not uh, 50 by 70. Uh, if I if I right click on the white part here and go to page properties, I'll get these properties over here. It's set to A4, and that's not really what I want. So I'm going to go to custom down here, and I'm going to change this to centimeters, and the width is going to be 70, and the height is going to be 50. Right. So now if I roll back and set that, now I have a 50 by 70 centimeter file. What I like to do next is build in these guides. So I, you know, I start with the, um, these are, you know, kind of setting my margins. So things will snap to them and it will just make my life much easier. So you hit the green arrow. Um, let's say I want, I don't know, um, say three centimeters, right? Three, change this to centimeters. So I've got horizontal and now I know I'm going to go Horizontal guides, this is 50, so I'm going to go to 47 centimeters. It's going to give me another 3 centimeter margin. And then at this one is 70, i got to back off 3, 267 centimeters. And that gives me a nice 3 centimeter margin. I can make that 5, 10, whatever you want to do. Um, I can also, I, what I like to do is do like a center line as well. So in this case, the horizontal, I need to go 25 centimeters and then half a 70 is 35 centimeters. So that gives me a center point. If I hit this zoom full, it zooms in a little bit. And that's where we're at, right? So that's nice. Um, so that's how, you, you know, you can adjust your size to whatever you want and then you got to set up your guides uh, in order to do that. Next, if I want to add other information, um, I go up here, I can add label with with the text bar, text box, right, I, you know, Yvonne River, I'm going to hit the font button. Um, we'll leave that as, well, let's go to like Times New Roman, whatever's on your machine. I'm going to set this to 75, something large, and um, I think that's fine. I'll hit center and middle to make it easier, and it's already snapping to that center point, so that's good. I'm going to add, let's add the image in. That's probably the most important part. Go to click here. It's going to snap onto those guides, and we'll do it up a little bit so we get the title stands out, and it's going to automatically bring you to whatever's on the with before so give that a second to load up it's a big file in the meantime i can add in you know if i want to add in a scale bar or uh, whatever so here we go so now you know i can adjust this a little bit and move it around if i want to put a border on that give it a black line that might help uh, frame that a little bit um can't really see it but uh, this is a large image, so it's a little bit slower than, than normal, but that's okay. Um, and then I could add a north arrow. You'll learn these things. That it's pretty easy. If I want to add other text, I could 
put in a, you know a subtitle. Um, you, the sky's the limit with QJS. Now you kind of need to learn QJS, but that's how you would set up your your uh, your template and however whatever size you need, right? So um, I think that you know that's the, the main part of it, right? Um, I think you can you can work from there. You'll you'll learn more as you go, um, but that's you know getting getting the map on there. Um, you know, setting uh, you could do a, a numeric, you know, one to whatever the, the um, whatever the scale is. All right, so we have 30, uh, 30, so let's say that's let's make this 50,000. That will adjust in a second. So, um, but that's how you would do this. Um, you know, I might make this, you know, 50,000, let's, 5,000. Um, I might make it a square, it fits the shape of it better, but that's how you can customize it. You go in, you right click, set your paper up, and um, that will adjust from there. So it takes, you know, takes, you know, you could save this, right? You've got whatever, however you leave it. If you want to make another version, you say, you know what, I kind of want to do, you know, uh, 60 by 40. I would go layout, duplicate layout call this 60 by 40 okay go in here right click go into page properties 60 by 40 centimeters now I'm going to need to adjust a little bit I need to go in and adjust my guides and change these to kind of make those adjust these other two adjust the center so Takes a little bit, but once you get once you get it lined up, you can save it as a template. You can use it in any of your projects, right? So it doesn't you don't have to start from scratch. At some point, you'll have a, a library of template files in QGIS, and for the different size papers you use and different size formats that you want and titles and, and everything, and, and you'll be good to go. So that's how you create one in a customized way. Um, a little bit more advanced, but um, not too tricky to figure out. I think you can get there. So there you go.